Hey everybody and welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. This video is going to show you how to use StatCrunch to select one single variable and then with that variable calculate a number of different summary statistics like mean and median, variance and standard deviation, and range. We're also going to see how to use StatCrunch to calculate any quartile or percentile that you would like. So in this particular data set, we have a variety of variables. We have the ID of the student, their age, year in school, their gender, GPA, and so on. And if we want to just choose any one of these variables and then calculate some descriptive or summary statistics, we choose stat, then we choose summary stats, and then columns, because our data is arranged in columns. After we choose columns, we have to tell StatCrunch which one of these variables we want to make our calculations on. So you can choose any variable you want, and I'm just going to go ahead and select GPA for this purpose. So once I choose this one single variable, it moves that variable over to the right. And as you know, you can select multiple variables simply by holding down the control button on your keyboard, or if you're working with a Mac, you have to hold down the command key. But in our case, since we just want one variable, I've moved it over. And now I'm going to explore the statistics that are being calculated for me to make sure that every summary statistic that I'm interested in is on the list here. If it's not, I can explore this list over to the right to make sure that it's there. In addition, I can use this area to choose percentiles that I want StatCrunch to calculate, like the 10th percentile or the 90th percentile. So let's pretend that we click over here, even just accidentally, and this happens. And we think, uh-oh, I want the mean, but I actually want a number of other statistics or values or measures. If I want more than one, I always just hold down the control key, and then I can select as many as I want. So if I hold control down, I can choose N, which is the size of my data set. And in this case, it's just GPA, so it'll tell me how many GPA scores I have. I've already got the mean selected, so that's good. Maybe I want the variance, so I'll put that one in there. Maybe I want the standard deviation, so I can put that one in there. I can put the median in, that's another measure of central tendency. I can put the range in, which is a measure of variation as well. And maybe I would like to have the minimum value and the maximum value. If I'm looking for quartiles like Q1 or Q3, I can include these as well, and it's really up to you. So here's all the different summary statistics that I've selected. And maybe I would also like to have the 10th percentile separated by comma, and maybe also the 90th percentile. So the 10th percentile is the value in the data such that 10% of the data is below it. And the 90th percentile is the value in the data such that 90% of the values are below it. And with that in mind, remember that the median is the 50th percentile. And it's also Q2. It's the center of your data such that 50% of your values are below it. So once I've selected my single variable, once I've selected all the different summary statistics, also called numerical measures that I want to calculate, and a couple of percentiles, I can click Compute. And when I do that, StatCrunch will generate everything that I've asked it to generate for me for that one variable that I have selected. So that's it. It's an introduction to using StatCrunch to generate summary statistics and percentiles. Thank you for joining me.